This is a patient who had a liver mass discovered in ultrasound for which an MRI was performed for characterization. We'll start off by looking at the T2 uh, fat-saturated sequence. We can see immediately that the liver mass is rather large and it's located and centered really in the caudate lobe. Over here, it is mildly T2 hyperintense on the T2-weighted sequences. On the T1 pre-contrast sequence, we can see that it's hypo-intense with respect to the liver parenchyma. When we give contrast in the arterial phase, this demonstrates arterial phase hyperenhancement on a portal venous phase, we can see that there is washout within this mass. We note that the patient does not have a cirrhotic liver morphology or any other signs uh, to suggest that there is advanced liver disease in this patient. And so a mildly T2 hyperintense mass, T1 hypointense, arterial enhancement and washout, certainly would be worried about hepatocellular carcinoma, particularly if this patient has cirrhosis or advanced hepatitis infection, but this turns out to be a healthy 30-year-old female with this mass. And so another differential should come to mind. Before I get to it, we'll look at some other sequences. We happen to do this case with EOVIS. We can look at our more delayed EOVIS sequence, the hepatobiliary phase. We can see that the mass is hypointense with respect to the liver parenchyma on that phase. Finally, there's the in phase and the out of phase sequence. And we can see that clearly this mass loses signal on the out of phase sequence. So that tells us it contains lipid within it. So essentially a fat-containing mass in a young 30-year-old female patient with arterial enhancement, some washout, hypo-intense on the hepatobiliary phase. It's a classic image appearance of a hepatic adenoma. This was resected, and this indeed turned out to be an adenoma.